Kalyan Singh born the 5th of January 1932 is the current governor of Rajasthan since the 4th of September 2014 He took additional charge of Himachal Pradesh replacing Urmila Singh whose 5 year term ended on the 24th of January 2015 Prior to that he was an Indian politician of the Bharatiya Janata Party from the state of Uttar Pradesh Kalyan Singh was born to Tejpal Singh Lodi and Sita on the 5th of January 1932 he has served two terms as the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh and was appointed Governor of Rajasthan on 26 August 2014. Kalyan Singh is known for his role in the Babri Masjid demolition. Addressing reporters in Etta, Kalyan Singh once said that he owns full responsibility for the demolition of the 16th century mosque in Ayodhya on 6 December 1992, thus reigniting the controversial Ram Janmabhumi dispute. During a speech at the 26th Convocation Ceremony, he appealed against the word Adonayak, saying it should be replaced by Mongol. Political career First term as Chief Minister Singh first became the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh in June 1991. A year later, the controversial Babri Masjid was demolished by a large group of protesters and Hindu right-wing activists aided by right-wing political parties. <laughs> <laughs> Role in demolition of Babri Masjid According to the charge sheet filed by the Central Bureau of Investigation (CBI) in the Babri Masjid demolition case, just after becoming chief minister, he, with his colleagues, visited Ayodhya and took a vow to construct Ram Temple there itself. In October 1991, his government acquired 2.77 acres (11,200 square meters) of land around the Babri Masjid complex, under a government notification for the purpose of promoting tourism. In July 1992, the Sang Parivar laid the foundation for the proposed Ram Temple by digging around the Babri Masjid and filling the area with 10-foot thick layer of reinforced cement concrete. Kalyan Singh's government called it a platform for performing bhajans while the Vishva Hindu Parishad VHP declared it as the foundation for Ram Temple. Kar Siva was supposed to be conducted in Ayodhya on 6 December 1992 and he filed an affidavit in the Supreme Court that as the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, he will not allow any damage to the mosque. However, Kar Seviks demolished Babri Mosque on that day. Taking the moral responsibility, he resigned from the post of Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh in the evening. Later, Union government dissolved Uttar Pradesh Assembly. Post-Babri politics He contested Assembly elections to Uttar Pradesh Assembly in November 1993 from two constituencies, namely Atrauli and Kasganj and one from both. As Samajwadi Party Bahujan Samaj Party combined formed the government in the state under the chief ministership of Mulayam Singh Yadav, even though the BJP won the most votes and increased its vote share Kalyan Singh served as leader of opposition in the assembly. He later served as chief minister of Uttar Pradesh again between September 1997 and November 1999. This government of his insisted that all primary classes should begin the day with a worship of Bharat Mata and that Vand Mataram should substitute yes sir during roll call. In February 1998, his government withdrew cases against those who were associated with Ram Janmabhumi movement and said that a Ram temple will be constructed at the same site if the Bharatiya Janata Party came to power at the center. He also promised to create Uttarakhand within 90 days if BJP leader Adil Bihari Vajpayee became the Prime Minister. On 21 October 1997, Bahujan Samaj Party BSP withdrew support to Kalyan Singh government. Kalyan Singh, who was already in touch with disgruntled Indian National Congress member of Legislative Assembly MLA, Naresh Agrawal, contacted him and Agrawal immediately rushed to his support with 21 other MLAs having hurriedly formed a new party, Vinay Sharam the Loktantric Congress. For this, he was given the energy portfolio in the new cabinet. 
On 21 February 1998, his government was dismissed and Governor of Uttar Pradesh, Ramesh Bhandari invited Jagdambika Pal to form the new government when the same Naresh Agrawal withdrew support to Kalyan Singh's government and became Deputy Chief Minister in Jagdambika's short-lived government. The order was stayed by a division bench of the Allahabad High Court which directed the status quo antebellum to be maintained thus reinstating his government. After this decision, Adil Bihari Vajpayee, who had gone on fast unto death in protest against the governor's order called off his fast and said that the court's verdict was a well-deserved slap in the face of the governor. Naresh Agrawal, who had become deputy chief minister in Jagdambi Kapal's government, returned to BJP fold after the court order. When Kalyan Singh successfully proved his majority on the floor of the assembly with the support of Agrawal as well as some BSP rebels, Agrawal claimed that he had succeeded in proving that only his party could provide a stable government. The BSP rebels were to be rewarded with ministerial berths and this was duly done within days. He left the party in December 1999 and rejoined in January 2004. He contested the 2004 Lok Sabha elections on the BJP ticket from Bulandshahar. Before the Lok Sabha election of 2009 he left BJP and contest election from Etta Lok Sabha seat as an independent and subsequently won it. It has been reported that Kalyan Singh is expected to join BJP and is to be appointed as a vice president of Bharatiya Janata Party. His son Rajveer Singh have also been a member of Legislative Assembly for a term. The Liberhan Commission gave clean chit to then PM Rao but criticized CM Kalyan Singh and his government for pre-planned mannered events, misuse of power, attracting youth for support, and allowing Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh to run the state government directly. <laughs> Defections Singh resigned his post and party membership on 20 January 2009. After meetings with Samajwadi Party leaders Mulayam Singh Yadav and Amar Singh, Singh announced that he would campaign for the SP in the 2009 Lok Sabha elections. Meanwhile, his son Rajveer Singh, one of the main reasons of his disenchantment with the BJP, joined the Samajwadi Party. On 14 November 2009, Mulayam Singh Yadav said that the poor performance of the party at the Farahabad Lok Sabha by election was due to the loss of Muslim support because of Kalyan Singh. In January 2010, he announced the formation of a new Hindutva-oriented political party, the Jan Krandi Party, but chose to take the role of patron while his son became the leader. <laughs> <laughs> Governor of Rajasthan Singh was sworn in as Governor of Rajasthan on 4 September 2014. See also Kalyan Singh Ministry 1991-1992 Atrauli Assembly Constituency <laughs>